Hello everybody! How's it going today? Welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host Buddy Blackford and today I want to go over with you uh, what smart objects are and they're pretty important because they help with uh, non-destructive uh, uh, editing within your uh, object or your image that you're using and that's one of the main um, plus sides of using Photoshop is that sometimes you don't have to destroy the original data of your uh, image and you can keep all that in case you like mess up you can just delete everything and your image won't be all screwed up so what a smart object is it's it's like um, something that you put your image in that can be continuously rasterized which means the um, edges are going to be like nice and crisp you can scale it up and down or rotate it or warp it in a non-destructive way that it can and it'll stay like not destructed so to understand these a little better we're just gonna start um, by importing I'll show you a few ways how to import um, your images as smart objects and there's a couple of ways that we already did uh, there's a way that we did already and it is by using the uh, place option so if we go to file and we go down here to place and then just bring in anything I'll just bring in something small like this color scheme and I bring that in and I hit enter to place it down now it, it becomes automatically becomes a smart object the way you can tell that something is a smart object is one it has these bounding boxes around it um, even when you're not even trying to uh, like when you're not even trying to like transform it it'll have these bounding boxes around it which uh, means that these little squares are at the end and you are able to uh, mess with the dimensions of it like this so I'm gonna hit control Z to get off that and another way that you can tell is that if you look over here in our layers panel there is this little icon that's there which looks like a piece of paper with a square and that is the thumbnail for the smart object so you know that your object is a smart object so what if you import something in and it's not a smart object already like this photo here that I have let me get all this other stuff out of the way so I have this photo here but I can tell it's not a smart object because it doesn't have the smart object thumbnail on it so the way that you can convert this to a smart object right click on it and come over here to convert to smart object and now we know that it's a smart job object because it has the bounding box around the edges that we can see here now another way that we could have done that which is a little slower is uh, come up to the menu here and convert to smart object is also in the menu there now there is another way that we can um, bring in our objects as a smart object if I come over here to let me uh, click off here so if I come over here to file and then come down here to open as smart object we can do the same thing and import something in here as a smart object So now this has opened as a smart object, but now it has opened into its own document or pro new project. So now it's a smart object within its own document. That way um, you can just open it on its own and work on it on its own without having to work on it within another document like this. One thing that's pretty cool about smart objects is that you can edit them and then they will be edited within your original document that you had before so the way that you can do this is making sure something you have is a smart object and a double click on the icon or the thumbnail this will come up you can click don't do not show again if you would like but um, this is just the uh, pop-up box that it will uh, come up so let's just hit OK here basically it's telling you that you need to save it um, or else the changes that you made won't show up 
So now I can uh, do anything to this that I that I really would want to. Maybe I want to crop this down. There we go. So my my uh, computer is like lagging a little bit, and I'll just hit enter to crop it, and and I'll go to hit uh, save. And now if I come look at it in our original document, which I did by moving over here and clicking. Oop, I have too much stuff going on. Now we can see that it has been cropped the way we did it in the original uh, document here. So I'm going to X out of a few of these things so it's not using so much uh, of my uh, computer processing power. Now to get your uh, layer down to back um, so it's not a smart object anymore all you need to do is um, right click on it and click to uh, rasterize layer and once you do that it no longer is a smart object so I'm gonna bring up this other smart object that I have and uh, show you why you might want to do that if you try to use like an effect like the burn tool I'm trying to actually use it and it's not working as you can see the smart object must be rasterized before proceeding and then if you can hit OK to rasterize it but you can't use some certain tools on uh, smart object layers anything that's uh, destructive like this uh, burn tool that will actually alter like uh, the image you cannot use until you rasterize the layer. So that's uh, my basic intro of smart objects for you. Hopefully it made some sense and I thank you for watching this one. So give it a thumbs up if you liked it and a thumbs down if you hated it. Subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials coming up. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.